What are the goals of inbox management? One of the most important skills that we do as executive virtual assistants or general VAs is inbox management. It is actually one of the top priorities that we do on a daily basis for our clients. So what exactly is inbox management or what is the goal as to why we're doing inbox management and why is it so important? In its simplest explanation, inbox management is when we clean up or fix our client's email or inbox. The main goal of inbox management is to reach inbox zero. Now, inbox zero doesn't necessarily mean that everything should be unread as soon as your client logs in and check their emails. It's not like that. Inbox zero simply means that you need to make sure that the only things that your client will see in their inbox as soon as they log in for the day are the things that needs their attention. The emails that they need to reply to or emails that urgent emails that they need to read through and all of those things. So in this video, we're actually going to discuss the actions that we need to take with when doing inbox management to reach that specific goal of inbox zero. So why am I talking about this? That's because I am also a executive virtual assistant working for a US-based client. I have been doing this since 2021. I don't have any prior experience into being an executive virtual assistant before I became a freelancer myself. That's why I'm here creating these videos to help you learn the ins and outs of being an executive virtual assistant so you can become a remote worker, a freelancer, be your own boss just like me. So for us to reach inbox zero on a daily basis for our clients, inbox or emails, first thing that we need to do is of course to organize our client's email. When you onboard a client and one of the tasks that they assign you to do is inbox management. The first thing that you're going to do is to organize it first, meaning putting them in specific labels, categorizing which ones are personal emails, which ones are business emails, which ones are urgent emails. It actually depends on how you view your client's inbox and how you can categorize and optimize your client's inbox to make sure that everything is in its proper place. Categorizing the inbox into priorities such as urgent, needs read-through, needs your response is another way to optimize your client's inbox. Categorizing your client's inbox also helps them to easily identify which messages to read first and which messages is urgent or needs their response. Another way to help you reach inbox zero is to make sure that you prioritize specific emails. You can use filters or flags or stars or change the view of your client's inbox, specifically if it's a Gmail inbox. Arranging it in priority ensures that your client don't miss any messages and also in terms of aesthetic it also makes the inbox look very clean and of course organized next important thing that you have to do is to unsubscribe to unwanted emails now you have to be very careful on this one you have to Ask your client first if there are items that they want to unsubscribe or newsletters that they want to unsubscribe with or not. Some clients really do subscribe to some newsletters because they learn a lot from these newsletters and they want to be able to read to them. For us, it might just be a simple marketing newsletter or an ad, but your clients actually make use of them. A lot of other ads also or newsletters have discount codes on them. So you have to make sure that you separate important newsletters and things that you can unsubscribe to. Take note that do not ever delete these newsletters because some of them might be important. You can leave them on archive and make sure that you can go back on them from time to time. 
Another way to help your client reach inbox zero or in inbox management per se is to create drafts or reply to email on their behalf. If you and your client have already been working together for, let's say, a year or so, your client might already be very comfortable with you replying on their behalf or you have built that trust already that you can reply on their behalf on specific emails. If you are quite new in your working relationship with your client, then you can create drafts for your client that they can go back and check and they can send out themselves. After some time, once your client already sees that your drafts are amazing and you already sound like them, then definitely they can give you a thumbs up to say that you can start replying on their behalf even without their permission or without them double checking if it's good or not. Another way to declutter your client's inbox is to archive and delete emails. Now, take caution on this one. Personally, I don't delete any emails, whether it's a newsletter or an ad or an email that doesn't really look important. I don't delete anything that goes to my client's inbox. What I do is I put them all on archive. I only delete when the inbox is already full in terms of memory, and I only delete messages that are five years or older. So, because sometimes you no longer need messages that are more than five years old. And I want you guys to practice that as well because that is a very, very important, especially if there are a lot of emails that needs to be put into archive so you can go back to it from time to time. The first emails that I delete are all ads and newsletters. Everything else that is a discussion or a communication between a client and a colleague or a specific person, I always just put them on archive. Another way to make your life very easy in inbox management is to create templates. You can create templates for common responses or if your work is very repetitive and let's say a customer is inquiring about your packages, you can already create a template so that you can just copy paste or choose the template and it will automatically write that email for you and all you can do is just send it, send it out. It will save you a lot of time and a lot of effort, especially for repetitive tasks or repetitive communication such as that. Next thing to help manage your time when doing inbox management is scheduling emails. So if, for example, one of the tasks that you do for your client is sending out birthday greetings or holiday greetings, etc., then you can definitely spend one whole day drafting all of those emails or creating all of those greetings and emails and then schedule them to the specific time or day that a specific day is celebrated or a friend is celebrating a birthday and then it will automatically send send out those emails for the rest of the year and finally what's very important in inbox management is to make sure that you stay organized at all times you should have that system already in your inbox to make sure that you don't forget about replying to an email you don't forget that your this specific email needs your client's attention and everything have a, a set of style or process that you do in terms of managing your client's inbox to make sure that you are on top of everything a client's inbox together with their calendar is their lifeline in terms of their day-to-day -day work, their business, even their personal lives are also tied sometimes on their inbox. So you have to make sure that you treat your client's inbox with utmost respect and high sense of responsibility. If you want to learn more about inbox management in detail, I do have other tutorials and playlists within my YouTube channel that you can check out. I'll try to link everything in the description down below. If you want to learn more about how to become an executive virtual assistant or a general VA so you can start working at home 
or anywhere that you want. I do have a free webinar that is here on my YouTube channel. I would link it up here so that you can check it out. If you want a more in-depth tutorial or an in-depth course on how to be an executive virtual assistant from the basics up until how to find your clients or booking your clients, I do have a paid online course that is available lifetime access. It consists of 16 detailed modules, 18 hours worth of tutorial videos, as well as downloadable templates that you can use for yourself and for your client. I will have the link ready in the description down below and you can enroll anytime you want. You can also follow me in all of my other social media handles such as TikTok for some quick tutorials, quick tutorial videos, or my Facebook page and my Instagram account. You can also join my community in my Facebook group as well as a free learning center with all of the things that you would need, the roadmap that you would need to start your career as a virtual assistant or as a freelancer. All of those things will be in the description down below, so check them all out. And finally, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about freelancing, about having your own business, about remote work, anything that has to do with being a virtual assistant, hit that subscribe button so that you are always up to date and you can learn more. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video, and I'll see you on my next tutorials. Have a great day.